it was 95 earlier today. I could have filmed it, but I was too lazy. But we are going to be talking about raising chickens for eggs. So I'm going to be covering some of the basics, and yeah, let's begin with that. So the first thing is learning how to actually raise your chickens. I have a complete tutorial. It's only nine minutes long. You can check it out. Nine minutes is not a terrible amount of time. It took me 47 hours to get that thing pulled together. So it'd be greatly appreciated if you would check it out. Link is in description if you want to know it. But there are other great ways you can learn. You can just look it up. You can go onto websites like Backyard Chickens. It'll help you out a lot. And yeah, there's just going to be a couple of simple, easy ways that you can start to actually get eggs from your chickens is you actually have to learn how to actually raise them. I'd recommend watching those before you get chickens, maybe a couple weeks or so. Learn about what you'll need and what you already have. And yeah, let's talk about chickens now. The first thing is understanding what types of chickens will lay the most eggs. Out of my flock, I think our best performing is probably gonna be the barred rock chickens. They lay, I wanna say about 300 eggs per year. According to Google, it's more like 250. But I'm gonna go with 300 just because of how many dark eggs they lay. We get a lot of dark eggs and barred rocks, they're pretty cool. They're probably one of like the dirt cheapest chickens you can find, but they are pretty cool. So you see that chicken right here, that black and white one? That's a barred Plymouth rock. That's its full name. You can call it Plymouth rock, barred Plymouth rock. I just go with barred rock because that's a much cooler name. But that is one of those chickens. But if you want like a nice colorful egg basket, you're gonna need Easter eggers. These chickens, I want to say about 200 eggs per year, but sometimes more. Easter eggers like blue or green eggs. And then you have the green queens and olive eggers, which are the mixes between. We have um, one green queen that wasn't that wasn't a rooster, and gray cloud, who is in the coop right there. See that gray chicken? That's gray cloud. She lays navy green eggs, so that's just understanding how many eggs a chicken will lay each year and how what color their eggs will be. So determine that stuff before you actually start learning about raising chickens for eggs. Now, a term that you'll need to know is pullet, or a chicken under a year old. Most of the egg production that your chicken will do is probably in their first year. They start laying at about 28 weeks of age, which is around six months. And, and they stop laying at about, I wanna say, I want to say they stop laying around like three or four years consistently. Like they like completely shut down when they officially like have their lives cut short. That's usually like five or six years old chickens, but sometimes they do that beforehand. Raising chickens for egg is sort of a hard business because you have egg yolk peritonitis, which is a terrible infection. You have egg bound, which I think egg I, th I think you can treat egg bound chickens as long as you get there at the right time. And timing that sort of stuff is really hard. We had um, a disease. We actually had to um, put down a bard earlier today in the farm flock because of a disease. I don't know if it was egg yolk peritonitis or not, but it is a very painful disease. And raising chickens for eggs, you're probably gonna stumble upon one of these diseases as you do that. Because diseases, they're, they're always in our life. They're probably always gonna be in your chicken's life. You know, bumblefoot, at least that's treatable to a certain extent, but egg yolk peritonitis, probably gonna have to bring them to the vet to put them down instantly. So yeah, be sure you are aware of like the diseases that likely come across production flocks. Now as for any feed, I might recommend you feed them. I don't have any suggestions for this because feeding is sort of like a really rough job. I'd recommend giving them a huge variety in like their diets. Like maybe like if you want like the best performance of their eggs, you need to give them sunlight and grass because like, you know what, I have an idea. For 500 subscribers, I will compare a store-bought egg to a, to a farm egg that was raised by our pet flock. Or farm flock, you never know. Y you can't really tell nowadays. But when you do that, like, that's a simple DIY try at home thing, like compare those. The egg with um, much lighter, creamier substance, that's because they were outside. So make sure they're outside. And it probably tastes a lot better when they're outside too. So make sure your chickens are getting that, and you might also want to mix in some treats like watermelon and strawberries and other stuff. And as for their feed, egg layer crumbles are usually about thirty dollars. That'll do the trick. But sometimes, if you really want to like get like the fancier stuff, you can. Some feeds can cost as much as a hundred dollars, so so be very careful when it comes to that. Now, don't be annoyed when your chickens stop laying eggs in the winter. This is completely usual. A great way to tell if a chicken has stopped laying eggs or has gone broody where basically what broodiness is, is where like a chicken just like tries to hatch out eggs. We actually have two broody chickens trying to hatch out like nine eggs. 
loud mouth and cute. So right now in the duck coop, because that's where they wanted to um, have their basin. I I'm not complaining or anything, I'm not crying about it, but other people would. So, so make sure that like, you check like their color of like their combs and their face. If it's like dark red, they're still laying eggs. They're still consistent with their daily schedule. If it's like not even anything color, like here, look at my chicken Summer right over there. That's the bard I showed you earlier. She is dark red, meaning she is still laying eggs to this day. You just don't catch them in the act. And if you think a chicken isn't laying eggs anymore, look at the fa look at their facial colors, and that will tell the truth. Now tell the story. Now let me show you the broody chickens. Hopefully you'll be able to see that those chickens have absolutely no color on their faces that indicates that they are not laying and they've gone full on broody. So make sure that you choose very carefully when it comes to broody chickens because they won't eat most of the day and that unfortunately might cause some starvation. So make sure they have food provided for them. Now if there's one last tip I could possibly give to you about this because I want this video to be perfect timing so this video can pull a couple thousand views because I know people want to know this stuff. One last thing I will offer for you for this thing is basically just be patient, give them the right stuff, and yeah, just make sure that you're doing everything right as as per usual, because if you're doing everything wrong, like you're screwing up any list, and chances are your chickens aren't gonna be laying any eggs. They need a right environment, basically meaning they need an environment. If they're in a drought or if they're in a giant wet season, last year they were in a wet season, this year they're in a drought, the year before they were in a drought, it's it's a not enough thing, you know? Every other year we get a bad drought here. Every other year we get a rainy season here. Last year was the rainy season here. But right now we're in a moderate D1 stage drought. So that might clock down on how many eggs or you might be getting in your, from your farm flock right now. Why did I almost say garden? Probably because I haven't made a chicken video in a hot minute. But yeah, that's basically all the tips and tricks I could have offered for you. There are way more I could have possibly offered for you. But I don't need this video to be 14 minutes and 50 seconds because I want you to be able to sit through, watch these videos, and get enjoyment factor out of them instead of having to sit through 14 minutes just to get to the goddamn point. So yeah, that was it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to reach 300 or maybe even 1,000 by the end of the summer. So subscribe, and that way I can do that egg comparison video. Goodbye.